The day we're taking a look at these MLB matches, Chicago Cubs vs. Washington Nationals, Philadelphia Phillies vs. Pittsburgh Pirates and Kansas City Royals vs. Toronto Blue Jays, which are happening on Friday, July 30, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. The talk of the Cubs has been Rizzo getting sent to New York, but they still have two of the best bats in the NL Central still in Baez and Bryant, which will give the Nationals trouble on Friday night. Add in that Williams will be on the mound for Chicago and has found ways to keep the ball in the park, he'll give Chicago a massive leg up. For the Nationals, there will be a distraction with all the movement within their roster, as Turner's bat will be missed, and the team will have to deal with losing quite a bit of leadership. The Chicago Cubs have been trending downwards as an offensive team, as they are currently 19th in baseball with a .705 ops this year. They have already traded Anthony Rizzo to get rid of some offensive power, and others could be gone. They have been hitting for power as they are 7th in baseball with 134 homers so far this season. Chicago has been led by third baseman Chris Bryant, who has an .861 ops with 18 home runs and 51 RBI. It will be interesting to see who will be remaining on this roster by the time this game starts. While the Cubs traded away one of their World Series heroes, the Nationals followed suit by sending Tree Turner and Maz Scherzer to the Dodgers on Thursday. In one of the more shocking trades of recent deadline deals, the Nationals really sold any chance at the playoffs over even the next few years by sending away two of their three best players. Add in that Washington is still without Starlin Castro, Jordy Mercer, Victor Robles, Kyle Schwarber, and a handful of pitchers, it's hard to imagine a scenario where the Nationals are able to provide enough on either side of the ball to take down the Cubs. Even though Turner was questionable for upcoming games due to COVID issues, he was still an important part of the offense if the Nationals wanted any chance at a postseason run. The offense is expected to take a dip without him and was already ranked 17th in the league in runs per game, 3rd in batting average, 6th in hits per game, and 20th in home runs per game. Turner led the team in batting at .322 and 125 hits, and that isn't a spot in the lineup and field that can be just plugged and play for the Nationals. Over the last week, Josh Bell and Juan Soto each have two home runs, while Josh Harrison leads the team with a .333 average. Without Turner though, it'll take quite an adjustment for the offense to keep up their scoring pace. My betting advice for that game is to pick the Chicago Cubs. The Phillies are averaging 4.49 runs per game and 4.58 runs per game on the road. They averaged 7.33 runs per game in their last three games against the Pirates. With Pittsburgh giving up 4.76 runs per game at home, the Phillies will hit their average in this game. The Pirates are averaging 3.66 runs per game and 4.02 runs per game at home. They averaged 4.33 runs per game in their last three games against the Phillies. With Philadelphia giving up 4.96 runs per game on the road, the Pirates will score enough runs to push the score over the total. Vince Velasquez, 3-5 ERA 1.43 whip, takes the mound in this game, and in his last start he was lit up for six runs on five hits, including two HR, in only two and one-third innings in a bad 15-3 loss to the Atlanta Braves. The Phillies have lost three of his last four starts, where in each of the losses he gave up at least five runs. This is Velasquez's first start of the season facing the Pirates. He has had issues giving up the long ball as of late, as he has given up 7 HR in the three losses in his last four starts. The Phillies have lost six of their last nine games, which has dropped them four games behind New York in the NL East standings. They will try to make up some ground in the division with a win over the Pirates, which will give them their fourth win in their last 10 games. Philadelphia is averaging 4.49 runs per game. Their .241 batting average is 16th in the league. Their .318 on base percentage is 12th, while their .401 slugging percentage is 14th. 
Gene Segura leads Philadelphia with a .307 batting average, while Reese Hoskins leads the team with 22 home runs and 62 RBI. Philadelphia's pitching hasn't been very good. Opponents have a .249 batting average against the Phillies, which is 20th in the league. Their 4.46 ERA is 19th, while their 1.31 whip is 16th. In his last start, Nola gave up four hits and one run in 8.1 innings, leading to a 2-1 win over Atlanta. They will need another solid effort from him if they want to get the win. My betting advice for that game is to pick Philadelphia Phillies. I know both starters are coming off strong outings, but that has not been the norm for them this season. Lynch is in his rookie season, young starters often struggle with consistency. He faced a bad Detroit offense and now has to shift gears for one of the best lineups in baseball. Stripling had given up 10 runs across just four innings prior to his last start. The Royals have played a disappointing season thus far, but the future looks bright in Kansas City, and the young pitching is a large reason why. At 25-year-old Daniel Lynch looks to be one of the more promising pitchers for the Royals as he's only allowed 15 runs in the four games he started including 11 strikeouts. In his recent start, he pitched eight scoreless innings against a good Tigers lineup, indicating that he's poised to have a strong end to the season. The Royals hope their pitcher provides them with a strong start considering their offense has been awful this season, scoring only 4.18 runs per game. Salvador Perez is having a remarkable season with 25 home runs a .278 batting average, a .508 slugging percentage, while Carlos Santana and Jorge Soler have combined for 30 home runs, but the rest of the batting order has struggled. Only four batters in the lineup have 10 home runs or more, and only three have an ops plus of 100 or higher on the season. Toronto needs to quickly bounce back from a rough stretch if it wants to remain in playoff contention. The Blue Jays opened the second half with a sweep over Texas, but they have struggled since then. They lost a pair of games against Boston before losing two out of three at City Field against the Mets. Toronto is coming off another series against the Red Sox, where they dropped two of the first three games. The series concluded on Thursday night. Toronto is currently 4.5 games back of the second Al Wild card position. The Blue Jays have been fantastic offensively, ranked second in the MLB with a team batting average of .264. Shortstop Bo Bichette leads Toronto with 118 hits and a .297 average. The headliner has been designated hitter Vlad Guerrero Jr., though. He has 116 hits, including a team-best 32 home runs. Guerrero Jr. is hitting at a red-hot .327 clip. They will be facing a Kansas City staff that is number 27 with a team ERA of 4.98. Right-handed starter Ross Stripling will take the mound for Toronto on Friday. He allowed one run across five innings in a loss to the Mets in his last start. Stripling had allowed 10 runs across his previous two starts, so it was a much-needed bounce-back effort. My betting advice for that game is to pick Toronto Blue Jays. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.